फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय वर्क प्लेस एट राणाघाट वेस्ट बंगाल इंडिया लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स हैपेंड इन दिस केस लेट इस ऑब्जर्व दिस सर्जरी दिस इज़ द मेन इंसीशन विद अ 2.8 मिलीमीटर स्टील किरातोम एंड नाउ अ साइड पोर्ट इस मेड ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द मेन इंसीशन अबाउट थ्री क्लॉक आर्ट्स अवे वेर going to stain the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble so here goes the tripan blue dye at this time the size of the people is little on the smaller side about 5 mm so i'm going to use a bit of adrenaline here goes the adrenaline and with adrenaline the people starts dilating and we see that the people has dilated quite well size of the people now is about 8 millimeter or even 9 millimeter and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the interior chamber and now we are going to do capsulorexis the anti-capsule is torn at the center with the tip of the ureter forceps the capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is guided anti-clockwise all around to get an adequate size to axis of about 5 mm and now hydro dissection is carried out with the help of this cannula 27 gauss and pss fluid wave goes to the opposite equator, the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Now see the pupil has decreased in size with visco it has increased a bit and now as we go in with irrigation the pupil will enlarge just watch as we go in the people increases in size but as we rotate the nucleus it decreases in size so as we go again the people with, with irrigation it increases in size so now my plan is to chop this nucleus and now see what happens as I start chopping this nucleus the people has become small and the iris tends to get incarcerated in the side port so there is some floppiness of the iris and I have decided what to do in this case. I'm going to chop this nucleus and then come out. First I remove the handpiece and then the chopper to avoid injury to the iris by the chopper. I inject visco and now I'm going to do single handed phaco. That means I am not going to use the chopper to manage the nuclear pieces. So I am looking for a free nuclear fragment. And here it is. I have got one. I hold this piece and emulsify. And the other pieces follow. And now the seminucleus is tilted. Emulsification is started from the central part. And the piece is mobilized in such a way that we don't catch the eyes. And we have completed the emulsification. Now I inject visco, fill up the antechamber and the capsular bag 
and I'm going to use this 22 gauge Simcoe cannula to remove the cortex all around. Now the side port is too small for this Simcoe, but there is some subincisional cortex. So to do, what I do is I inject visco, fill up the empty chamber and the capsular bag. Now use the irrigation through the main wound. Since there is visco, the visco will come out slowly and the empty chamber will be maintained for some time. And during that time, I am going to remove this cortex. And during this time, if I lift the anterior lip of the main wound, the anterior chamber remains well formed. The pupil has become small, it is about 4 mm now. And now as I inject visco, the pupil dilates and becomes about 6 mm. And here goes an intraocular lens, monofocal single piece intraocular lens and this is wound assisted delivery. The cartridge is a C cartridge of Alcon. The intraocular lens has gone into the capsular bag and now I have to remove the visco filling up the anterior chamber. I am just irrigating at this moment and then I go behind the intraocular lens, irrigate the capsular bag. By irrigation alone, lot of visco comes out. And now I'm going to use the irrigating cannula of bimanual irrigation aspiration and I do some more irrigation of the anterior chamber and then some more irrigation of the capsular bag. And now I'm going to use the irrigation and aspiration together. Watch that I'm lifting the anterior leaf of the main wound and thus I keep the anterior chamber formed. And now this is moxifloxacin and then the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the paracentesis wound. Now th the this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is formed nicely. So in this case we have observed how to use the lens iris and diaphragm retropulsion to combat IFIS, that is intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in your practice.